Recently I wrote an article about some of the upcoming features in the new version of WordPress, WordPress 2.9. I decided to install the beta version on my test server and take a look at some of these features and record this video rather than writing a, an article containing lots of screenshots. One of the features I mentioned was Move to Trash. This will work a lot like the Recycle Bin does in Windows. I can click on that. I just moved the post to the trash. Now in the different statuses for my posts, all published drafts, there's now a link to trash. I click on that and there's the post I just moved there. I can restore it or I can delete it permanently. I'm going to restore this because I still want to use it for this demonstration. Um, that could be really useful. There could be a number of instances where we've deleted content that we regret deleting and wish we had that brilliant paragraph. Um, another feature is the use of O embed within WordPress. Um, we don't really have to understand how O embed works, but it is working behind the scenes. Basically what it will do is take a URL to multimedia content such as video or an image and translate that to the actual video or the actual image without us having to worry about the embed code. Um, here I have a link to one of my images on Flickr. Once I save and then preview that post, the image is there. Prior to 2.9 we would have just seen that link. So um, that's going to be really useful for us for using multimedia in WordPress and it will work with major multimedia sites such as YouTube, Flickr, Vimeo, um, and we won't have to worry about getting the embeds right. The translations should happen behind the scenes for us. There um, are additional settings for it under Settings Media. Besides um, some information about the image thumbnails, there's also um, some checkboxes for auto embeds, O embed discovery, and you can set the maximum embed size. In the uh, media library, we can now make edits to our images right within WordPress. Um, none of them are that exciting, but it, it should cover most of the edits we would need to make. You locate the image in your media library, click on edit, and then edit image again here. You can scale, crop, apply the changes to um, some of the images, just the thumbnail. You can rotate the image, you can flip it, you can undo, redo the changes. Like I said, not nearly as full featured as an image editor, but for most of the edits we would need to make, this should be sufficient. And rather than having to go back to the image in our image editor and uploading the changed version, we can now do these edits right within WordPress. It will be really, really handy. Um, one of the things I, I wrote about in a kind of joking manner was better feedback for scheduled posts and I said well I wonder what that means um, and basically all it is is accurate feedback not necessarily better feedback um, let me just change this back to draft um, rather than scheduled um, now I have this scheduled for a date in the future when I click on schedule I'll get a message at the top of the post telling me post scheduled for the date and the time. Previous to 2.9 when I clicked on schedule here it would say post scheduled. I'm sorry it would say post published and even though I knew the post had been scheduled it would make me nervous. Oh wait did that publish or not? I didn't want it to publish right now. No, I don't want it to publish for a week. I'd go back to my list of posts and say oh, okay phew it actually did schedule it hasn't been published. Um, quickly one of the features that I didn't write about but that I noticed when I was taking a look around here is under tools upgrade this is the section where you can upgrade automatically to the new version of WordPress you can now you now get a list of all your plugins that can be upgraded and their updates select them all upgrade at one time um, we still have the list of plugins that we're accustomed to that give us all the information about the new version the details and we can upgrade them in that location as well but under Tools Upgrade, we now have um, a handy list of all of the updates, and they can all be done at one time. Um, that's basically the highlights of the new features in 2.9. Um, nothing that exciting, but they all look pretty useful, and I think it will be a good upgrade. Thanks a lot.